Beautiful. Beautiful. You really are. We're not just Hi. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Andy Kleiman, the producer. I'm Jay Logan Mosier, the director. And uh, we'd like to welcome you at the Couch Show. You're all going to have a fantastic time. We've worked so hard on this, and it's it's really funny. So uh, please enjoy yourself. And not only that, but not only is this show going to be really funny, but this show is also going towards a good cause. A very good cause, the Burma Fund. Uh, everyone who paid tickets, which is all of you, uh, all of your money is going directly to the Burma Fund together with the money we raised on Monday. We're looking between $2,500 to $3,000 for the Burma Fund, which is for Burmese tsunami victims. There's a table set up in the back if you want more information. Uh, we also have empty envelopes if you want to make a private donation. You can do that after the show back there. Yeah, and um, well, this may seem like it's a little um, off place, but <clears throat> uh, my dad's birthday was on Monday, but I've been so busy with the show that I haven't had a chance to call him. So yeah, wow, that's know? that's quite the dilemma, Andy. It's real tough. That's yeah, yeah. no, uh, no, I'm, you just. I think that's just it. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is horribly insensitive to me, and I apologize. Um, Logan doesn't know who his father is. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to call my dad? I could. I could call you. He could be like my dad for the day. No. <laughs> no. You. But you could talk. I'll let you talk to him. It'd be like talking to a real father. Yeah, I'm saying. Awesome. All right. Okay, yeah. Number three. Yeah. It's ringing. It's ringing. <laughs> Hi, Dad. It's me, your son. Logan. Lo Logan, your son. But what, what do you mean I sound bigger than normal? <laughs> no, 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 I, I know I don't sound Jewish, but... <laughs> Dad, I don't normally sound that feminine. <laughs> what, what do you mean when I get this number? Dude, your father gave me a name and then he walked away. Oh. <laughs> what an obscure reference. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. No, no, no. It was, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed talking to a real father. You know, see you on Father's Day? You betcha. Aw, oh, Andy, we're going to make the best brothers ever. And I'm going to be Dad's favorite. Oh, no, you didn't. I did not tell you. The rest of the show is going to be much better than this. Enjoy it. Justin Martucci, I'll be your guide to this magical journey we call Ithaca College, the show. College is more than a degree-granting institution, more than just buildings, textbooks, and exams. It's a living organism. For four years, you are in a setting unlike any other, no longer in the familiar setting you've known for 18 years, yet not quite in the real world, where apparently people stop being polite and start getting real. <laughs> College is the best thing to happen to you. It's the worst thing to happen to you. <laughs> Until now, there has been nothing that has affected you more or made you realize who you are more than college. The following is how Ithaca College has affected us. Guys, I heard they were gonna raise tuition again. I heard that if you get pregnant while you're a student here, they take your baby away as a down payment. Man, that's nothing. I heard this one time, this kid came up short on his student loans, mm -hmm. so Peggy Williams personally, to send a message, broke both of his kneecaps and dangled him out the 13th floor window of the East Tower. <laughs> Guys, be quiet, here come the deans. Wait, all of them? Yeah, you didn't hear? They formed a coalition to fight pollution on campus. Shh, here they come. Oh. <coughs> Music! <laughs> Business! Communication! Humanities and science! Health, science, and human performance! Heart! <laughs> you can 
can all go to hell. <laughs> go, Ithaca! All your powers combined, I am Baby Voodoo! <laughs> Captain Peggy, she's our hero. Gonna take a woman up from zero. She's our powers magnified, and she's fighting on Canada's side. Captain Peggy, she's our hero. Gonna take the weather up from zero. Gonna help us interfere with students who smoke or drink too much beer. You pay for this, Peggy Williams. Oh. <laughs> We're the I.C. Deans. We're better than you. We say reading and writing is the thing to do. Skipping school to party is not the way. Hear what Peggy Williams has to say. Give me all your money, bitches! <laughs> So uh, why don't we get started with some introductions, you know? Just let me know your name, where you're from, what your major might be, and whatever else you're interested in doing here. Um, hi, my name is Nick, and I'm from Boston, New York, and I'm one of the major in sports management, and I maybe want to play football and baseball here. Awesome. And you? No, oh, hi, I'm uh, Corey from Bowling Green, Ohio, and I'm thinking about majoring in film studies. Oh, that's awesome. I almost went to Bowling Green. For me, it came down to that in Ithaca, and I chose this school because I found out that unlike Bowling Green, Ithaca is one of the few schools where the, co where the professors don't worship zombies. <laughs> Wait, what was that last part? Oh yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but about 89% of all colleges promote zombie worship, and only 2% of liberal arts schools do not encourage this behavior. So it's all the more reason for you to come to Ithaca. <laughs> anyway, let's begin the tour. If you look out on your left, you can see the Cayuga Lake. This is one of New York's Finger Lakes, and is believed to be the spot where Jesus walked on water. <laughs> Uh, I'll have you know, ma'am, that that's not only the spot where Jesus walked on water, but you're standing about 100 yards away from where he delivered his Sermon on the Mount. Also, it's believed that the hill that Cornell is built on is actually the hill on Calvary where Jesus was crucified. Uh, I went to a Christian high school, and I'm pretty damn sure that didn't happen here. Uh, I'm just passing for the information that was given to me, and I'm pretty damn sure it's all true. <laughs> oh, hey, Jeff, how's it going? Hey. Oh, that's my friend Jeff. He's a good guy. And just to let you know, it's because a very diverse school. Do you remember all the time? <laughs> we draw all types of different people from all over the globe. So. Anyway, let's begin the tour. Right now, we're going to head on over to the Roy H. Park School of Communications. This is where all of Die Hard was built. <laughs> Uh, that's interesting, because I thought it was filmed in Hollywood. Uh, as far as I know, that's untrue. And the scene where he walks across the broken glass barefoot was actually filmed on top of the West Tower. <laughs> Continuing with the information of Park, this is where such celebrities as Jessica Savage of NBC News, Carl Ravitch of ESPN, and David Boreanaz of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel fame came from. Well, I had no idea an acre like Jessica Savage even went here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the school's produced a few top well-known acres. Other ones that studied here were Ted Koppel, Peter Jennings, and Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Oh, hey, Pat, how are you doing? Didn't you say his name was Jeff? Oh, no, that was my friend Pat. That was somebody completely different. <laughs> anyway, now it's the time of the tour for me to show you what the dorms are like. Uh, this hall is known as Emerson. This is one of our smaller residence halls. We show you this one because we wouldn't want our students getting the wrong impression about our school on the tour. <laughs> Also, your parents might appreciate the fact that Ithaca College is one of only two dry campuses in the country, allowing no alcohol to be here at any time. <laughs> really? So what happens if you do get caught with alcohol on campus? Well, the first offense is public flogging in downtown Ithaca. Second, <laughs> second offense is beheading. <laughs> you guys are strict. Uh, yes, sir. Finally, to finish up with residential life, each room comes with its own optional cable package, giving you every channel offered by Time Warner, as well as the fastest internet connection available. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, how do they handle roommates in conflicts? Well, I'm not quite sure on how they manage it, but usually the school will assign your roommate tailored to your needs, and roommate conflicts just about never happen on this <laughs> So now we're going to head on over to the athletic facilities. Ithaca College is ranked in the top 10 for best athletic programs in the nation. <laughs> hey, James, how was practice? Listen. They said I just gotta keep walking by these tours. I don't gotta answer any of your damn questions. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess I'll see you on the field, slugger. <laughs> As some of you know, our, our women's crew team recently won a national title. And before the season began, our men's football team scrimmaged the nationally ranked USC Trojans and beat them by a score of 87 to nothing. <laughs> Yeah, as believable as that is. Hey, I played wideout for the team, and we beat them so bad they were actually crying after the game. We do boast the best football coach in the country. We like to call him our little D3 secret. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Of course it does. So, uh, before I conclude the tour, are there any questions left about the college? Uh, yeah. Well, what is the political climate on campus like? Uh, excellent question. The campus does tend to be liberal, but if you're conservative, that's okay, because on campus we have the Doc Hawk brainwashing chamber. <laughs> Michael Moore films all day, learn how healthy reefer is for your system, appreciate the environment to the point where you want to literally hug a tree, and learn just how evil corporations are. Sure enough, within a few weeks we can wash that religion clean of your system. <laughs> so uh, thanks for taking the tour today. I hope you guys choose it again and don't get shot in the face. <laughs> go to learn about the real world by completely ignoring it. <laughs> so what better way to prepare for college than to play a bunch of inane, mind-numbing games? We call this orientation. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Isn't orientation great? Of course it is, silly. Who doesn't love playing name games and silly icebreakers all day? I know. College is going to be totally wicked. I, know, I mean... <laughs> Who needs beer when you have college, right? No. I can't believe I want a t-shirt. <laughs> believe it, Dakota. Your team had the most spirit by far. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. Do you I really love you. So? <laughs> what? I love your spirit. I love your spirit. Wait, you're not gay? <laughs> Is so fucking gay. <laughs> hey, me and some friends are going up the circles to get wasted. Want to come, Dakota? Sure, I love parties. But, but you're gonna miss the orientation award ceremonies. <laughs> yeah, let me know how that goes. <laughs> but you're gonna miss the orientation leaders' morality play. They're gonna talk about beer and and drugs and sex. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a girl to like me. If you drink it. They will come. Drink it? Drink what? If you drink it, they will come. Drink what? Beer, you idiot. Beer. If you want to get more women, you have to drink beer. But the orientation... The orientation we just drink more than anybody. How the hell do you think it's going to happen? But I'm only 18, I'm not even old enough to drink legally yet. Oh, God. It's a lot harder than I thought. I don't want to have to do this. Do, do what? I am the ghost of college past. Oh, oh, oh okay, cool. Yeah, I, I love Dickens. Yeah, I bet you do. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Why does everyone keep calling me gay? Hey, what's going on over there? Sam? Clancy? That's one of your Dungeons and Dragon meetings back in high school. <laughs> it can't be. There's girls there. <laughs> and it looks like they're having fun. That's because you're not there to kill their buds. If it weren't for you, Sam and Clancy would have been the most popular kids in high school. Wow. <laughs> All these years I've been holding them back. I am the ghost of college present. <laughs> Whoa, where'd the other guy go? 
Hey, I work with a limited budget, all right? Besides, you should be concerning yourself with more pressing matters. Whew. Another roofie culotta, my dear? <laughs> I love a guy who knows his alcohol. Wanna go make out? No, Dakota, don't do it! They can't hear you, Pete. But, but... Let's go, babe. <laughs> Let me guess, the ghost of college future. At your service. <laughs> hey, who's that loser? That's you three years from now. <laughs> Where am I going? Are you sure you want to know? Of course I want to know. Because once I show you this image, there is no way I can take this memory away. Just tell me. Why don't you see for yourself? Hello, is this where I go for the IC After Dark event? <laughs> it sure is. Tonight's game show night. And some of the members of the IC Comedy Club are going to be panelists. Good day. No! making bracelets! Hooray! <laughs> oh, oh god, I'm so sorry! I've seen the error of my ways! I'll never go sober again! I'm coming to Kona! Oh, what was that all about? Eh, yeah, nothing. I was just talking to some freshman. <laughs> oh, fun! This college thing's going pretty well. I met some cool people. I haven't really gotten close with anyone yet, but you know, that's my nature. It takes people a while to warrant my sarcasm and me a while to warrant to their horrible flaws. Man, I'm a dick. <laughs> What's taking this elevator so long? What was it that sophomore said to me about the tower's elevators? Hmm. What would he mean? And I'm all like, prism? I need to join a prism. Why would I want to join a group dedicated to the refraction of different waveforms of light? <laughs> That's so fucking gay. Well, had I not come from a politics class, that would have been the stupidest thing I've heard all day. So, do you remember that girl we went to high school with, Jennifer Christian? Graduated my year. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember Jen. She had that hot sister that graduated year ahead of me, right? Yeah, that's right. So apparently over break, she was sleeping over at this girl's house. And I, I talked to Megan the next day who was there, and she says that when Jen gets a little sleepy and a little drunk, she starts confessing things. No shit, like what? Well, apparently she started talking about her sex life. Like she really likes this one position. Like it's all she does nowadays. It's a position that's kind of uncomfortable for girls, if you know what I mean. Oh, you mean like in hammock? Because I can't even imagine doing it in a hammock. <laughs> yeah, I'm comfortable. No. Uh, do you remember Ben Affleck's character in Mallrats? Do you remember what he was into? Oh, oh yeah, doing it in the back of a Volkswagen, yeah. No, no, see, that was the joke. He wasn't actually into doing it in the back of a Volkswagen. Oh, oh, that's right. He was into younger chicks, because the girl writing the sex book, she was only 15, right? So, what, Jen likes some young, you're saying? You know, I'm just going to say it. She's into anal. Retentive? She's anal retentive? <laughs> so, so she likes cleaning. What does that have to do with what? sex? No. Butt fucking! She's talking! I got butt fucking! <laughs> Your friend is really in the anal sex! In the ass! Oh. Asshole. Exactly. Fucking A. Sure. So what's up with these damages? I don't know, man. It's like insane. Four times this has happened. We've been here like a week. How much has the floor been charged? Fifty bucks each time. Whoa. Fifty dollars because someone took a dump in the shower. <laughs> four dumps, man. Four dumps, four days in a row. Maybe they just couldn't make it to the toilet in time. Four dumps! <laughs> and it's, it's like six feet. Are there any suspects? You know, you know there is that recovering heroin addict? 
He keeps crying and mumbling about his mother and pooping in his pants. But you know, if I point fingers, then that'll fuck up the camaraderie we have on the floor. And you know, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> if you mess that up, that totally mess up the whole floor dynamic. Word. This is us. Word. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> this is the worst elevator ride ever. What kind of place? Jesus Christ, did I miss my stop? God damn it. <laughs> Christ, this is just what I need now. Fucking physical therapy majors. <laughs> yeah. That's not cool. Not all giggling retards are physical therapy majors. So my God, what's your major? I'm physical therapy. Like me too. Me too. <laughs> but I'm minoring in politics because I like totally want to be the first female senator. Awesome. <laughs> Well, that's that women's rights back a decade. I'm putting a stop to this. Hey, are you girls freshmen? Like, how did you know? Oh, lucky guess. Do you know about ladies' night tonight? Like, oh my god, where? Oh, at the library. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. They clear out all those pesky books, and there's jello shots, and beer pong, and endless troughs of ice cream, as far as the eye can see. Wow, we are like so totally going. Oh my god, yeah. Girl powder. <laughs> Hey, weren't you in my orientation room? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're Tom. Tom, right? Yeah. I remember you. You were the one throwing rants at meat at those people during those retarded alma mater skits. Yeah. yeah, it was one of my proudest moments. I live a very sad life, you see. <laughs> you're Susan? Gretchen, but uh, close enough. Yeah, sorry. Awful with names. So how's college treating it? Uh, it's all right. The other day, my roommate burned popcorn, so she thought it'd be a great idea to smoke a joint to cover it up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking weird. Well, look on the bright side, at least you didn't shit in your shower. <laughs> Nothing. Would you like to get something to eat? Sure. Ah. Oh, hello. You know, there are many majors here at Ithaca College. Some are useful, some are useless. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh, dear. And then there are some. Well, let me put it this way. What's the difference between an exploratory student and an OCLD student? You can figure out what an exploratory student does. Um, hi. I'm a freshman, <clears throat> and I've never been to Park. Do you think you could help me out? Sure, I'd be glad to. My name's Pat. I'm an OCLD major. How about you? I'm Ashley. I'm exploratory. Um, what's OCLD? Organizational Communication, Learning, and Design. Oh, well, what does that mean? You see, organizations communicate by learning and then designing. <laughs> but I don't get it. I mean, what does that have to do with you? I design how organizations communicate by learning. Oh. <laughs> What do you learn? How to communicate. How do you learn that? By designing. Well, what do you design? Organizations. Designing organizations? I mean, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, how do you design organizations? By organizing my design. You design organizations by organizing your design? Exactly. OK, so let me get this straight. You enrolled into this college, pay 30 thousands some odd dollars a year to design something? Pretty much. You got ripped off. Teach their own. I mean, I mean, like, what do you design anyways? A way to communicate. 
You design a way to communicate. Exactly. I hate to tell you this, but a way to communicate has already been designed. It's called talking. I believe the caveman came up with it. See, that's what you think. It's a common misconception. But what we're trying to do is develop a more effective way of communicating. More effective than talking. Exactly. You're a moron. It's your opinion. <laughs> and I mean, that doesn't make sense. Sure it does. No, it doesn't. Sure it does. No, it doesn't. I mean, design? Design what? What's a design? Is it a drawing, an outline, a plan? It can be anything you want it to be. <laughs> OK. Let's, let's just start this over again, OK? What's your major? OCLD. And what does that stand for? Organizational Communication Learning and Design. And what does that mean? You see, organizations communicate by learning and designing. But that's a circular definition! You're a circular definition! <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even make sense! You don't make sense! Your major? It doesn't make sense! You organize communication, so you have to learn about organizations and communicate them by designing a proper method. But in order to do that, you need to learn about the organization. And the only way to do that is through communication. But first, you need to organize it. And the only way to do that is by designing a proper method in order to organize it so you can come up with the appropriate learning technique to communicate it properly. Now you got it. I hate you. You know what we do, right? Yeah, we design organizations to communicational learning. See, how hard is that? I know. <laughs> Wow, what's all that stuff? Uh, I just came back from that Evolvement Fair. You know, uh, the one at Emerson? Oh uh, yeah, how'd it go? You know, I think I might have signed up for too much stuff. <laughs> you think? What are some of the things you signed up for? All right, all right, well, okay, we got I see Democrats, I see Environmental Society, Cowass, I see We Hate Me, I see Dead People, I see Let's Build a Random Shed, I see Get Off the Damn Shed, I see Wear Sunglasses at Night, and uh, 35, 36, 37 acapella groups. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on one sec. Cow ass? Yeah. Cow ass? Yeah. It's not a very hands-on kind of club, is it? I mean, latex clothes are only so thick. No, 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 it stands for a California, Oregon, Washington Association. Why did you sign up for that one? You're not from any of those states. Furthermore, you don't like Starbucks coffee, grapefruit, or things that are generally boring. <laughs> I also signed up for I see bush haters, I see weed whackers, I see Lincoln logs, I see down at Fraggle Rock, I see Goulet Coalition. <laughs> students for just peace, students for Christ, and students for just Christ. And, <laughs> and peace. Those last three were all at the same table. Hey, let me take a look at that. Hold on. The Lactose Tolerance Society of Vivica? I didn't know you were. I, I'm not. Okay. Oh, oh God. Comedy club? I see comedy club? Dude, these are just a bunch of guys who never get laid. <laughs> and uh, here one of them wears nothing but plaid. <laughs> it's a style. <laughs> Only barely. So, uh, you're a sophomore, like... Do you have any good clubs from last year that I could join, Nathan? Yeah, you know, this one looks familiar. It's uh, I See Change, yeah. Wait, hold on, this is the same flyer they used last year. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you really sign up for all of those? Well, you know, I just wanted the full college experience. Look, if you sign up for that many and you're involved in it, you're just gonna spread yourself out way too thin. You're gonna end up feeling about as useful as a best boy in the set of a lesbian porno. <laughs> Let's take a look at this from a different angle, like what you want to be involved in. You're, what's your major? You're an H&S, right? Yeah, politics. All right, so why did you come to Ithaca College? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. Got <laughs> no, I think I see Bill out in the hall. Hey, Bill, can you come here for a sec? What up? I just want to ask, um, why did you come to Ithaca College? Uh, I don't know. Hey, there's Jerry. Let me ask Jerry. Jerry! Yeah? 
Now, why did you want to go to Ithaca College? Well, you see, what I do is I organize communication. Terry, <laughs> 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 shut the shut fuck up. up. <laughs> I'd like to see you people organize communication. But no one has any idea why they came to Ithaca College? White women. <laughs> You're a chemistry major. Oh. Well, what are we gonna do tonight? I don't know. It's it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. You you want to get drunk? Yeah, actually, no. Booze. That's the reason I came to college. Guys. But where? I heard there's a party at Emerson tonight. Let's go get drunk and build a random shed. Ooh, Emerson. <laughs> Two residence halls, both alike in dignity. <laughs> in frigid Ithaca, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge breaks to new mutiny, where communal bathrooms makes one's hands unclean. <laughs> From forth the fatal loins of this lonely boy, a star-crossed lover searches for a night of joy. <laughs> I've been here two whole days already, and I, even got, and I haven't even gotten laid yet. Oh, don't feel bad. I've, I've only gotten laid twice so far. And you know, both of those are on the same day, so it really only counts as one. Gee, thanks a lot. You know what you need to do? You need to get out of Boothroyd. Hey, I heard there's a party at Emerson tonight. Why don't you come with me? There's going to be lots of women there. You'll probably even catch up to me. Emerson? What's that? Some club downtown or a fancy hotel? It might as well be. It's only, the most, it's only the most bitching dormitory on IC's campus. Every room comes with its own bathroom, or as they like to call it, lavatory. That sounds nice, but I don't think it's for me. Oh, come on. You can act like an Emersonian. It's not that hard. All you need is a yacht, uh, a weekend house in the Hamptons, and a perverse sense of self-assurance that you're unforgivably superior to everyone you know and you'll be all set. That's all? Well, let's go then, Chip. All right, Dale. We don't have coats. Very good, sir. <laughs> what did I tell you? What is this, huh? Emerson Hottie's up in here. <laughs> Looks like I'm big in number three tonight. You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> well, if it worked for a Chip, I may as well give it a shot. <laughs> you rep scallion! Oh, God! Oh, oh it burns! How dare you! Oh, what are the odds? Pointing is for pointing is what monkeys do. What a bitch! I can't not for that. Oh. 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 I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know they say alcohol is real good for the eyes. Who is that? That's that my friend Maybelline. Why is she such a bitch? <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I'm Dale. Oh, I'm Jen. So which room do you live in? Um, I live in the secret fortress in the basement. The, the janitor's closet? Goddamn temporary housing. So, uh, so how many banks does your family own? Um, none. Oh. oh, so how many media outlets does your family control? Oh, um, Digi, Box, Bra Bravo, we oh, control Bravo. Cool. It's Bravo? That's so fucking gay. <laughs> hey, why don't we go back to my place in T3? Wine and cheese parties are so fucking gay. 
because she's an Emerson girl. And what would someone like that want with a Boothroyd boy like me? <laughs> she deserves someone who can give her all the things ID Express can buy. <laughs> me, all I have are bonus bucks. I can't even buy gum with that. <laughs> oh, chin up there, Dale. Hey, you know what you need to do? What? You gotta cut loose. Foot loose! <laughs> Not gotta cut loose. What are you doing here? Uh, hi, Dale. I had to find you. How'd you find out where I lived? I looked you up in the Ithaca directory. <laughs> Guess you're pretty mad about me lying about living in Emerson. Oh, Dale. I knew you didn't live in Emerson. I knew you weren't like all those other boys. And that's what I liked about you. Really? Oh, Dale, you can live in Emerson or Boothroyd or the Quads. You can eat at Terraces, Towers, or the Campus Center. As long as you'll be the CNS to my CHS. <laughs> oh, Jen, you're like a strawberry smoothie from Grand Central on what could pass as a walk day. I love you. I love you too, Dale. a starving artist but have not the talent to act? Can you edit for 17 hours straight and then brag about it to your friends the next day like it makes you cool? <laughs> Can you quote word for word scenes from Casablanca, Citizen Kane, and Bill and Ted's bogus journey? <laughs> Do English majors strike you as too modest? If you answered yes to one of these questions, you may be a park student. Please, no flash photography. And can we check the levels? I'm getting some feedback. Just, just fuck it, we'll fix it in post. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. You're, you're a freshman, right? Yes, yes. Uh, good, good. What's your name and major? Uh, Matt, I'm a journalism major. Excellent. We need a new journalism major. What? I'm Gary, I'm an old CLD major. What, what does that mean? Uh, it's organizational communication learning and design. Well, what do you do in that major? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of classes do you take? I don't know. So you're a freshman too? No, I'm a senior. <laughs> uh, this is Jason. He's a TBR major. Hey. Oh, hey, what's, what's this for? It's... I'm, I'm tipping this. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, I'm making a documentary about my life. <laughs> That's awesome, wow. You think it's awesome now? Wait till, wait till I'm done editing it. Once I put in all the, the video transitions and the audio effects and, and the explosions, oh man, it's gonna be great. <laughs> you can really do all that stuff? Oh yeah, do you want to see some of my other projects? Uh, not, <laughs> not now, Jason. Uh, this is Fenton. Fenton? Fenton Tarantino. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't really shake hands. Because it, it, it's, it's like I have this vision, right, and I want to convey my vision to the world. And, with, and it's, just, it, it's, like, it's like the imagery and symbolism of the handshake, I mean, of your handshake in particular. It's just not part of the vision, the cohesive vision, that I want to give up to the world. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that Garden State was a completely overrated film. Okay. Uh, so like I was saying, we need a new journalism major. Well, what, what for? Uh, we like to have one of every major in our group here. That way it's like a microcosm of the park school. Hi, I'm an integrated marketing communications major. <laughs> so 
like I was saying, we like to have one of every real major. Oh. Our, 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 our friend who was a journalism major graduated last year. Do you want to take his place? Oh, that'd be swell. Excellent. We are reunited. We are once again the Parky Crew. The, the Parky Crew! crew. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll teach you the dance. Good. <laughs> so you're the member of the Parky Crew. That's great. Uh, tell us about yourself. Why did you decide to choose Ithaca? Well, I knew I wanted to go into journalism, and I had it narrowed down to three schools. Then I got the Park Scholarship. Couldn't turn that one down. <laughs> you're a Park Scholar? Uh, yeah, it's an awesome scholarship. Full tuition, computer. Can they just give me money? It's, it's really, it's really good. G guys, what's 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 wrong? Where are you going? Don't worry about the guys. Why did they just blow me off like that? You told them you're a park scholar, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a park scholar too. We don't like to tell other students about the scholarship. Well, why not? We don't like to rub it in that we're better than they are. It creates a lot of jealousy. I see. Yeah. So next time, just. Don't mention it. Oh, hi, Dean Lynch. <laughs> hi there, boys. Here you go. Thanks, Dean Lynch. Hey, hey buddy, let's go buy some DVDs. <laughs> hi there. My name's Jason, and I'm a sophomore. Which means last year, I was a freshman. And this year, I'm condescending. <laughs> now they say one of the hardest parts about your freshman year is living with a roommate. Me, I lucked out. I got a nice, agreeable roommate, and we got along great. But I often wonder, what would my freshman year have been like had I lived with a complete asshole? Well, honey, looks like you're all, you're all ready to go here. All right, bye, Mom. Bye. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, Mom. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder my roommate's gonna get here. Woo! What the hell is that? What's up, I'm Rod. Hi, Rod. Oh, Jesus. I'm Jason, your roommate. Awesome. So, Rod, what's your major? Sports? I don't think that's a major, Rod. Linebacker? I know that's not a major, Rod. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna finish unpacking and then go get wasted. You wanna come then? Uh, well, I don't really drink. What, are you fucking gay? <laughs> and here's where the problem begins. At first, Jason was confused. Notice the furrowed brow. He wondered, was Rod asking if I were a homosexual? When in reality, it just appeared to be that Rod had a very limited vocabulary. <laughs> this fact was illustrated at the mall. Man, $30 for a pair of slacks? That's so fucking gay. <laughs> at church, hey, those rosary beads are so fucking gay. <laughs> and at parties. What do you mean your off flows up for the weekend? Come on, baby, I just want to do it. I don't give a fuck about your family. Don't be so fucking gay. <laughs> and then the incidents began to occur. There was the ice cream. Dude, have you been in the bathroom lately? It's disgusting. Someone chucked a dish of ice cream against the wall. Yeah, that was me. Uh, why? Well, I was coming back from the terrace dining hall, I had my ice cream, I was like, yeah. So I went in the bathroom to kind of hang out for a little bit. Fucking walk him out of nowhere, I was like, oh, fuck, whoa! So I took my ice cream in. Rod, that doesn't make any sense. You don't know, man, you weren't there! What? I heard him platoon, and I thought it was cool. But then there was the bulletin boards. Jesus Christ, this floor's going to hell. Did you see the bulletin boards by the elevator? Completely ripped off the wall. They were screwed in really tight, too. Yeah, I know, man. It was all like, hey, everybody, it's Gabriel. I'm like, get fucking Gabriel! So they're gonna hatch you to <laughs> You're out of your mind. Yo, you're stupid. Well, good to see college is helping your vocabulary. And then, of course, there was the sex. Oh, yes, there was the sex. 
<laughs> Your roommate is the weak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's a heavy sleeper. Hey, can I call you Frank? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> there was an attempt at bonding. Hey, Jason, man, uh, I know you like movies and stuff, and you got that whole comedy thing, so me and some of the guys are doing a triple feature tonight. Uh, see if you want to join. First up's uh, Old School. Uh, okay, well, Will Ferrell's pretty funny. What's next? The real Cancun. <laughs> that could be good in an ironic sense. Uh, what's the last one? The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> What? Dude, Jesus is hardcore! Uh, I'm going to the library. <laughs> but of course, there would be the eventual last straw. <clears throat> Alright, Wednesday finals week. Three down, two to go. Uh, I really get served studying for that politics one. <sighs> Woo! Oh no. Yeah! 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 Tonga gained its independence from Britain. It was no longer British protectorate. Woo! Go Tonga! That's it, Rod. I'm sick of your shit. I got two exams tomorrow. I haven't even started studying for them yet. And I need your you and your booze hound friends fucking it up. Dude, don't be so fucking gay. Fuck you, Rod. You're fucking gay. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> You're right, man. I've been hiding my true self behind passive aggressive gay bashing and hyper masculinity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm fucking gay. <laughs> Lastly, an epilogue. Yeah, things really changed since Rob came out. Everything's so much cleaner. He dresses so well. I even saw him reading a book earlier. Well, I better hit the sack. I got a lot of packing to do tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, baby, your roommate's asleep. Hey, I don't worry about him. He's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Hey, can I call you Frank? My name is Frank. Awesome. <laughs> Ever since he has existed, solitude has been a problem. Whether doing work, listening to old-timey radio, or making love to yourself, he has always been there. We are talking about, of course, the roommate. So. <laughs> Welcome to Masturbation and You, and someone else. <laughs> How did you get into my room? Did you know 90% of IC students leave their doors unlocked? <laughs> oh. Meet Johnny. Hello. What's up, dude? Johnny just got back from his class where he sits next to Susie. Johnny likes Susie. <laughs> Johnny can't get Susie out of his mind. Johnny has some time to kill. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Johnny? Can't pet the one-eyed monster with your roommate there? <laughs> well, don't worry. I will teach you how to stroke count calculate with your roommate being none the wiser. <laughs> Well, well, gee whiz, mister. I don't think I could raise my flag with someone else in the room. 
Well, Johnny, if you don't learn how to, you'll end up killing yourself or someone else by mid-semester. <laughs> well, golly gee, I don't want to do that. Show me how it's done. Ah, yes. Well, Johnny, you're in college now, which means mm -hmm. you're sharing, sharing a small space with someone that you don't know. <laughs> However, this is no reason to deprive yourself of such pleasures. I will teach you how to play with your Stretch Armstrong with your roommate not even knowing. First, you'll need to cover yourself. Perhaps a blanket. And remember, always have an excuse. A reason for your actions. I'm a little tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. And I'm a little cold. I need a blanket. Good job, Jenny. <laughs> Thanks, mister. You're welcome, Johnny. <laughs> Friction is an important aspect. You don't want to tip off your roommate that you're going to town on yourself. <laughs> Concentrate on just moving your forearm, uh, your wrist instead of your entire forearm. And remember, always have your excuse. Pretend you're playing dice. <laughs> Remember, practice makes perfect. Damn, bust. <sighs> Gee willikers, mister, this sure is hard. How do you know so much about masturbation? Did you know 90% of IC students live that dog's on <laughs> How's it going over there, Johnny? <laughs> And remember, if you get caught, just go into a drum solo. I, I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think, think so. I think I'm turning. Uh, 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 turning Japanese. Congratulations, Johnny. You've just masturbated in front of someone else. Ah, the orgasm. As natural as. Birds chirping are a woodland creature achieving orgasm. <laughs> now the cleanup. You don't want to leave any evidence behind. After all, what you just did was a moral sin against God which will cause you to burn in the fiery depths of hell for eons and eons. <laughs> Do you want to burn, Johnny? <laughs> You'll need some tissue paper. <laughs> don't have any? Then a sock or any other piece of cloth will do. And don't be shy about using some from your roommate. Remember, what he doesn't know can't hurt him. <laughs> and don't worry about any excess mess. That was dry in a matter of minutes, and only the shame of, and only the stain of you defiling yourself in the name of God will remain there. Forever. <laughs> Dude, that Susie chick's fucking hot, right? <laughs> Oh, hello. You meet all kinds of people here at Ithaca College. Some are cool, some are funny, some are shy, some are loud, some are douchebags. <laughs> Some are way too happy at 8 in the morning. And then there's some, well, that are downright creepy. Guys, like, I'm gonna die. Seriously. I'm just, I'm gonna die. Like, I don't know what on earth possessed me to take an intermediate Spanish course when I haven't taken it since 10th grade. Come on, it can't be that bad. <laughs> 
She only speaks in Spanish, and whatever she's saying, it isn't yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> I mean, I could have homework, I don't know. Well, why'd you take it if it isn't required for your major? It was the only class with space available in it. <laughs> <laughs> space available. That's annoying. I mean, who, who was that? I don't know. I, I think that was Creepy Guy. <laughs> but um, 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 we know a guy, and wouldn't you know, he'll stare at you from head to toe. He looks around all through the night. He wears blue jeans that are really tight. He's creeps. He's moment creeps. He'll follow you around all day. He's creeps. He's moment creeps. You'll never guess the creepy things he'll say. What do you say, creeps? I like women's softball. <laughs> Training orders against him, I hear. Really? Yeah, it's true. This girl I know once met him at a party, mm -hmm. and then somehow he found out her screen name and cell phone number, and then kept calling and I am here for the next week until she had to get both changed. I heard this one time. He stood outside this girl's room with a for, for three hours holding a live cat until they called public safety. What was the cat for? <laughs> I guess to enhance his creepiness? I don't know. Uh-huh, that's nothing. I once heard he ran down a deer on foot, mm -hmm. tied it up, and left it outside a girl's room. Oh, shit. Now, stop. This is ridiculous. You guys shouldn't be spreading rumors about someone you don't even know. Oh. <laughs> but um bum bum he seems to know if you're on a job. He'll drool over you just like a dog. He's always there when you turn around. His favorite candy bar is mouse. He's creeps. He's moment creeps. He seems to only like to pee. He's creeps. He's moment creeps. He'll try and sniff your hair while you're asleep. What do you say, Chris? I like your pants. Can I touch them? <laughs> Damn! My name's Mo, what's yours? Brenda. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you, Brenda. I live in Clark. <laughs> what building do you live in? I, um, oh, hi. Uh, I live in the East Tower. Mm-hmm. <sighs> cool, what floor? Um, the thir 13th floor. 13th. <laughs> oh. I hang out in the tower sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you sleeping. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'll be. No, what did you just say? I said maybe I'll <laughs> see you. Okay. Creepy. <coughs> okay. Bless you. Thank you. Maybe I'll see you. Oh. You two. And especially you. You. Around. Holy shit! That guy was really creepy. I told you so. God, let's get out of here before he follows us to our door. Bum, 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 bum. The scene is over, but one more verse. Cause we found a guy who's even worse. You've probably seen him in the pub. He's president of the comedy club. He's climbing. He's on the climbing. He's the creepiest kid I know. He's climbing. He's creepy climbing. He'll probably stalk you all after the show. What do you say, climbing? Can you spit in this jug so I can make a clone of you? <laughs> now that's
that's crossing the line. <laughs> what do you say, creeps? something you might not know about Ithaca College. <clears throat> President James Whalen was, unbeknownst to many people, was a metalhead. That's why the towers were built to look like the sign of the beast. <laughs> also, there's no fiscal reason for tuition to be raised every year. The actual reason it is raised is that 50 cent is added on to every student's account every time a white person on campus says the word gangsta. <laughs> so please stop. You're embarrassing yourselves anyway. Also, it's well known that as a child, Peggy Williams was a national Canadian yo-yo champion. What? Yeah, it's true. Less well known is that she was also an international arm wrestling champion. Here now is a reenactment. <laughs> Center with only one pair of shoes. 
And we had two weeks to add or drop classes. Two weeks. I'm still stuck in that organizational communication learning and design class. I mean, what does that even mean? Ooh, I learned, I learned to say, I learned to say, ooh. You see, through organizational communication, Look, we learned just shut your mouth, all right? <laughs> when I was a freshman, freshmen only spoke when spoken to. <laughs> to say nothing of the fact that the circles were an off-campus refuge where the keystone light flowed like a river of unquenchable happiness. <laughs> Far from it, my little insignificance. For example, when I was a freshman, there were no wings over Ithaca. <laughs> exactly. And when the college was met with over-enrollment, many of us found ourselves homeless, living off the fruit of the lounges, and scourging for the precious few moments of internet activity ResNet decided to occasionally bequeath upon us. <laughs> we English majors survived on our verbosity alone. <laughs> We use big words. Ah! Oh, big words. Big words. Big words. <laughs> Worst of all, a group of well intentioned communists called Bridges created a freedom hating death knell called the Bias Related Incident. What's a oh, Bias Related no. Incident? Nobody really knows, Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. You want to hear the story or not? <laughs> the Bias Related Incident was a report filed anytime anyone on campus felt threatened. In the end, Bias Related Incidents were a lot like weapons of mass destruction. Sure, they sounded good but they didn't have to actually exist for people to go to war over them. Mm, I'm tired, senior Matt. Ah, well, freshman Matt, perhaps you should be getting to bed. You have a big day of classes tomorrow. Mm. Ah, but don't worry. You can help just get the notes online. Yay! Yay!